Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Brett. I'm currently based at the Second Affiliated Hospital and UA Children's Hospital of Wenzhou Medical University, and I'm doing my master's in pediatrics. Since the outbreak of the coronavirus dubbed the COVID-19, I've been working with the special anti-epidemic task force team in my area. And we help to take daily temperature checks and detailed patient history taking, as well as psychological evaluation of all of the students and workers in our quarantined area. We report any of our findings to our hospital directly so that any cases can be taken to the fever clinic for PCR testing for infection of COVID-19. We are also in charge of any emergency medical cases non-COVID-19 related in our quarantine area and make sure they're properly managed at our closest hospital. As of today, there are more than 107,000 people who have been infected with COVID-19 in more than 100 countries around the world. And unfortunately, there have been around 3,600 deaths. But there have been more than 60,000 people who have recovered from COVID-19. So, what are the symptoms of the COVID-19 infection? The most common symptoms of the COVID-19 infection are fever, tiredness, malaise and a dry cough. Some people may have aches and pains as well as nasal congestion and diarrhea and these symptoms are usually mild and begin gradually. Some people become infected but don't develop any symptoms and don't feel unwell. Most people, about 80% recover from the disease without needing any special treatment and around 1 out of 6 people who gets the COVID-19 becomes seriously ill and develops difficulty in breathing. Older people and those who, are underlying, uh, who have underlying medical problems like high blood pressure, heart problems or diabetes are more likely to develop a serious illness and people with fever, cough and difficulty breathing should seek medical attention. So, how does COVID-19 spread? So people can catch COVID-19 from others who have the virus and the disease can spread from person to person through small droplets, either from the nose or the mouth, which are spread when a person with COVID-19 coughs or exhales. These droplets land on objects and surfaces around the person. And then other people then catch COVID-19 by touching these objects or surfaces, then touching their eyes, their nose or their mouth. People can also catch COVID-19 if they breathe in droplets from a person who has COVID-19 who coughs out or exhales droplets. And this is why it's important to stay more than one meter away from a person who's sick. So how do I prevent myself from contracting COVID-19? Number one, Regularly and thoroughly clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer or wash them with soap and water. Number two, maintain at least that one meter distance between yourself and anyone who's coughing or sneezing. Avoid constantly touching your eyes, your nose and your mouth. And next, make sure the people around you have good respiratory hygiene, meaning that if you're going to sneeze, make sure that you bend your elbow and sneeze or use a tissue and dispose of it immediately. Number five, Stay at home if you feel unwell, and if you have a fever, a cough, or difficulty breathing, please call for medical assistance, and make sure that you contact your local health authority. Please make sure that you follow your advice by your healthcare provider and your national and local public health authority, or your employer. So we would also encourage you to keep up to date on the latest COVID-19 hotspots or cities where the COVID-19 is spreading widely so that you would not travel to those places, especially if you're an older person or if you have diabetes, heart or lung disease. So yes, COVID-19 is a serious disease, but here in China, we've waged war against this virus with strict quarantine measures and have more than 50,000 people who have been already discharged and cured from COVID-19. If everyone shoulders their responsibility, we can all get through this safely. I pray for South Africa. Let's play our part and thank you so much for your attention. You can check out my handles for daily updates, which will be placed here. And in the next video, we're going to separate the myths from the facts of COVID-19. So see you then. Tsunamina. Thank you.